Hi everybody, this is Mary for Stampin' Camp with Mary, Mary's Stamping Happenings, and today is um, a Stamping 101. And uh, I want to show you um, one of the tools that um, is probably pretty necessary once you get above the, the beginning stamping stage. Even if you're a beginning stamper, um, this tool is probably one of the best ones to have. So let me bring you up and I want to introduce you to the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus comes with, this is the base, it comes with two magnets. I have mine covered um, mainly because if you put them really close together they're very brittle and if they zing over to the other one they can shatter. Um, so you can get extra ones the magnets so I'd always suggest you have an a extra pair of magnets but um, you can still just keep them far apart. You get that, you get, um, this is great for stamping um, on um, with red rubber. If you want to do photopolymer, it comes with this black mat. Plus it comes with instructions and it comes with two plates that have grids on them. And the plates just fit in just like that. Okay. Some other things um, you can get for the Stamparatus is you can get um, this, um, it's called a deluxe foam mat. It has the grid on it, just like that one. Um, and it's the foam, it's got um, the same foam as that one. I like this because then you've got the grid and I like to line things up on that grid. Or you can also get grid paper, a whole packet of grid paper. And I really like that. And you could get, if you wanted another foam mat, you can get another foam mat. Now usually you use it like this um, for, for, for red rubber, but I will tell you, I always use this on it, even with the red rubber. Uh, mainly because then you can do a little more space. You don't want to put your stamps way up here or here because they won't necessarily sometimes always um, go evenly. But why do you want to use the Stamparatus? Well, first of all, some of us have problems, carpal tunnel, um, arthritis, and it's hard to hold our blocks. This makes stamping so much easier. Um, some of us like to be um, precise. So what you would do is um, you would lay down, and this is just a um, piece of the a piece of um, copy paper. You would lay down your card stock just like this. And then you would put where you would like your stamp, just like this. And then you would pick up your stamp just like this. Now you'll see in the back, this goes down. So what you would like to do is you want to take one of our, either your stamp, um, one of your stamp holders or get some of the, the um, you can order those, um, the stamp boxes. And then what you would do is you would just ink up that, where am I? You would ink up that, so I'm just going to go ink up that stamp, and you can use, you don't have to use markers, I thought I had a couple of my small spots here. And then you can just go down, press it, stamp. 
Ooh, I missed a spot. Can you see that? I missed that spot. Let's bring it down so you can see how I missed that spot right in here. So what I am going to do is I am just going to re-ink that area and I'm going to stamp right over it again. And there you go. Now you can't do that with a regular stamp because I have tried it. I mean, if you're really good, but sometimes I just shake a little bit and it's just off, even with photopolymers. This, I can stamp this a hundred times if I wanted to, and it's always going to be in the same place as long as you don't move this. That's why I set things up on the grid. So that's the down and dirty of um, the basics of Stamparatus. And you can do a lot of things. You can turn this, so you could have another stamp on here to stamp over here. You could, in fact, this, I do my scene cards on the Stamparatus. I line them all up on a piece of card, um, copy paper and then I stamp them based on color and I have like this side would be you know um, cherry cobbler this side all of the ones that I wanted um, garden green um, then this side has two sides and you can always take them off how you would like to take them off is take the corner one corner of them and just lift it it's really hard to take it straight off so you just want one corner and lift it okay um but you've got four sides and even with the four sides like if i wanted to okay i stamped that but i wanted a different color and all of them were filled i can just go like this and I could use another color right in here, right on this side. So that goes with your basic Stamparatus. Um, you can find it. I got the information to order it down below. Let's bring this up so you can see the full thing again. Um, just remember, uh, I'm going to be having some other tips and techniques on Stamparatus because it's such a great tool. Uh, remember, if you're having problems with your hands, um, that the Stamparatus is really great. You don't have to gear, and you can clean off. And you don't have to worry, you know, sometimes you get ink all around the stamp like that. You don't even have to clean that off because it's not going to touch. So there you go. Thanks for visiting. Remember to follow me on YouTube. Everything you need to purchase the Stamparatus is listed below. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.